Hello everyone, now in this video, I will quickly let you know how to make your own Wi-Fi extender using which you can extend the range of your Wi-Fi router by around 20 meters by just using the Node MCU board. And in the end, I have arranged a special giveaway which you might be interested in. So watch this video till the end and let's get started. So for making this project, you will need a Node MCU board. Yes, just a Node MCU board or you can use any other ESP board like Vemos, ESP32, etc. Except the ESP26601 module. Now to power up this project, I have used this 220V AC to 5V DC high link power supply and one on off switch. And the connections of all these components is something like this. Just simple power connections. Now as I want to make this project compact and handy, I designed my own PCB for this project. I have attached both NodeMCU and Vemos in the single PCB so you can attach any of the board you want. Then I gave the order to GLC PCB directly. Here you just need to upload the Gerber file, select the color of the PCB masking and place the order. You will be receiving these amazing PCBs at your doorstep. So try out GLC PCB to make your projects compact and handy. Now before shouldering the components, I first remove this plastic piece from Node MCU so that it can go more deeper inside the PCB. After that, I shouldered all the components on it. Now I took a plug and then removed its terminal from the plastic casing and attached the terminal inside the PCB like this. Then I shouldered the wires on the PCB and connected that wires inside this terminal. And for safety purpose, I attached glue on the terminals and after all these connections, our project looks something like this. Neat and handy. Now let's jump into the programming. For this project, you don't need to make any program, rather you just need to burn a pre-programmed firmware on it. You can download the firmware files from here. I have attached its link in the description. Now to upload the firmware, you will require one flasher tool which you can download it from here. After downloading both the files, just extract them. Now open up the flasher, here select the board you are using. In my case, it's a known MCU board, so I will select ESP8266 here. Then here, you need to select the firmware files and for that, click here. Go to the folder where you have extracted the files, then go inside this firmware folder and select the first binary file. Now here you need to provide the address which is the file name itself. Then below you need to select second binary file and provide its address in this block. Now select both the checkbox. Then we need to provide the board specifications according to the board we are using. In my case, it's a Node MCU board, so I will be setting up the parameters accordingly. Now select the right COM port, set the baud rate and click on the start button. This will burn the firmware on our board. So now as the firmware is successfully flashed, let's configure our Wi-Fi repeater. For that, we first need to power up the repeater. Then connect our system to my AP access point, that's the access point of our repeater. Now go to the IP address 192.168.4.1. Now this is the page you will get in response. So first you need to provide the Wi-Fi credentials of the router whose range you want to extend. So I will type the credentials of my router. Then click on this connect button. After that we need to provide the credentials to our Node MCU board acting as an extender. So I will give these credentials to it. Select the security mode as WPA2 and click on the set button. That's it, you successfully configured your Wi-Fi extender. So now let's see this project in action. Here as you can see I'm able to see the SMS repeater 1 and I'm successfully connected to it. Now I will open one app to test its range.
So when I tested the range, it came out to 70 feet, which comes around 21 meters. Uh, I didn't get that much uh, strong connectivity at this much distance, but still the connectivity range was up to 21 meters. And if I test the speed of both my router and the repeater, then you will be observing that the speed I'm getting from the repeater is almost same as that of my router. So yeah, this was the quick plug and play project. I hope you like it. And if yes, then do click on this like button. Now it's time for giveaway. Now this time I was very much confused about what to give in the giveaway. So I decided to leave up to you. Yes, those who win the giveaway will get their favorite thing from all these options, which includes a Bolt IoT kit, an e-ink display, any PCB of TechSMS project of their choice, a RGB LED strip, a NeoPixel strip, TechSMS merchandise, or a full color touchscreen LCD display for Raspberry Pi. So the winner will have the freedom to choose any of these options. Now to participate in this giveaway, the contestant need to be my subscriber of course, and the contestant need to like and comment on this video. After that, share any of your favorite Techie SMS video on your Instagram post or story and just mention there with my handle at the rate Techie SMS. If you mention this handle, then only I will be able to see your post or story. So this is all you need to do and then the winner will be selected randomly and it will be announced on the coming Sunday on my Instagram story only. So make sure you follow me there as well. So ending this video here, subscribe my channel to see more such innovative project tutorials. Other than projects, I used to make a variety of videos related to magical field of electronics. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.